Hello, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I'm Ron and thank you for stopping by. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to take a basic .png logo file like this and change it into an animated electric logo like this using a free After Effects plugin called Sabre. I'll leave a link to this plugin below, so feel free to check that out. The install is really easy, but you'll wanna install the plugin before starting this project. So check that link out below and go ahead and install that plugin first. Before we get started, I'll also mention I personally use what's called a dynamic linking between Adobe Premiere Pro and After Effects. In short, it's a great way to share my media assets among different post-production applications. I'll leave a link below for that as well if you're not familiar with how dynamic link works in Adobe. So let's get started. As you can see, I've already imported my two media files into After Effects. The first file is my background layer and the second file is my non-animated .png file logo. You'll just wanna make sure that your logo file is on the top of your timeline before you get started. And just scale your logo to whatever size you desire. First thing I wanna do is animate the smoke in my video. So let's do that first. Create a new solid layer and name it as noise. Then press enter. Now, in Effects and Presets, search for Fractal Noise. Now add Fractal Noise to Noise Solid Layer. For Fractal Noise, change the brightness value to minus 20. Now make sure you're at the start of your timeline. Now in transform, create a keyframe for offset turbulence. Now at the end of the timeline, change the position of the offset turbulence as shown here. Now you can see the preview. Now press the Alt key on the keyboard and the stopwatch of the evolution. This will enter the expression evolution option as shown here. Now enter the expression as shown here. Now you can see the preview is shown here. This looks pretty good. Now select the ellipse tool at the top of your menu bar and draw a mask layer as shown here. You can reposition this mask layer if needed. Just make sure you're on your noise layer and pressing P on the keyboard. You can move the noise mask around as needed to center it properly. Under mask one, change the mask feature value to 300. Set the mask expression value to negative 20. Now pre-compose the noise layer. Make sure the noise layer is selected. Right click, you'll select pre-compose when the pop-up box displays, just rename it as no Noise and keep the existing settings with the Leave All Attributes in Logo Animation selected and press OK. Now for the Noise mode, change the value from Normal to Overlay. Now under Noise Composition, hit T like Tom on your keyboard to bring up the opacity option and change the value from 100 to 75%. Now let's start working on the logo. Select your logo layer in the timeline, then right click and select pre-compose. You can rename the logo layer if needed. 
I'll simply call mine Logo. Now, before you press Enter, make sure you've selected the second option called Move All Attributes into New Composition, then press OK. Don't miss this step. Now, with your Logo Composition selected, you want to select Layer from the menu bar and select Auto Trace. Make sure Apply to New Layer is not selected and press OK. Now you should see your logo is auto traced. You can do this manually as well with the pen tool, but the auto trace feature will save you a bunch of time. Now with the logo layer selected, go to effects in the menu bar and find the video copilot feature at the bottom of the dropdown and select Saber. This is the plugin. Now within Saber, change the preset value to electric. Now in Customize Core, change the core type from Saber to Layer Masks. Now you can change your glow intensity to 49%, change the glow spread to 0.06, make sure glow bias equals 0.17%, and the core size is equal to 1%. Under Distortion, change the distortion amount to 4.0, Change the distortion type to smoke. Now make sure you're at the beginning of your timeline and we're gonna create a keyframe to, uh, for start size. Click the stopwatch and change the value from 100% to 0%. Now move, move forward one second in your timeline and change the start size to a value of zero. While still on the logo composition, press U on the keyboard to view selected keyframes. Move your cursor to two seconds and create another keyframe for start size. Move your cursor again to three seconds and change the start size to 0%. Now at the beginning of the timeline, create a keyframe for start offset and change the value to 100%. Now at three seconds, change the start offset value to 0% and change the end size value to 0%. Go back to one second and create a keyframe for end offset. At four seconds, change the end offset value to 0%. Now under distortion, change the distortion type to energy. Under Render Settings, change Composition Settings to Transparent. And change the Alpha Mode to Mask Core. Now let's take a look at the preview and see how that looks. It's worth noting that there are a ton of presets in this plugin. You have things like the one that I selected was electric, but you also have energize, energy, fire, firestorm, fog, and a ton of other options to choose from. So feel free to play around with this and check that, check each one of those out individually and feel free to play around with some of the features. This is just kind of touching on this plugin, but it's a great uh, plugin if you want to do something more than have just a plain old, you know, JPEG or PNG file for your logos. And that's really it. There's a ton of different options within the Sabre plugin for After Effects. If you did get any value out of this video, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. It's always appreciated. Don't forget to like, subscribe, ring that bell for future notifications. And until next time, take care and safe flying.